In this video I'll be talking about the hand ranking editor. With this editor you can change the order of hands that are used by the slider. Now of course you can already change this a bit by selecting the range that you want under this drop down. However, maybe you're not entirely happy with these hand rankings and want to edit them. Or create a ranking of your own. Or maybe you want to change which of these rankings is the default ranking. In order to offer you this option, the software contains a hand ranking editor. To get to this hand ranking editor, click this icon in the toolbar. And there it is. Currently the no limit hand ranking is selected as the default hand ranking. To change the default ranking, simply select another one in this list. I'll just select poker stove and press close. And now in the preflop menu, the poker stove ranking will be the default ranking. Ok, back to the editor. Now, maybe we're interested in editing the poker stove ranking a bit. Here, at the bottom, it shows how this ranking is currently made up. It goes aces, kings, queens, jacks and so on. Let's say however that we want to move aces down the list a bit. To do so, just drag and drop aces to the desired position. And if I now use the slider, we see how our new ranking would look. Ok, I'll just drag aces back. Uh, however, for the moment I can't seem to find aces here. It's somewhere in here, but I can't find it. To make it easy for you to find a hand in this list, if you mouse over it in the matrix, it will light up in purple in the ranking at the bottom. And that should make it a lot easier to find hands. Ok, I'll just drag aces back now. Now, there's also another way of editing a range in this menu. For that, just move the slider to the point where you want to edit the range. Now, if you want to see which hands are next in the list at this point, click to the right of the slider to move up one hand, or to the left to move down one hand. Now let's say that I feel that the next hand in the list at this point should be pocket threes, and then pocket twos. I can of course drag and drop them again, however a quicker way of making them the next hand on the list is to just click them in the matrix. And they will be immediately moved up to the next position. For demonstration purposes let me just click a number of random hands here. And if I now use the slider, we see that this is now indeed our new ranking. Ok, let me just undo these latest steps. To save your changes to file, click on save to file. If you don't and just close, then nothing will change at all. Ok, now let's say that I like the poker stove ranking, but I want to create my own custom version of it. For that I'll create a duplicate poker stove ranking by clicking on duplicate. And I'll rename our duplicate ranking to poker stove 2. And I'll use these buttons to move it up in the list, directly below poker stove. And in my custom ranking I'll put aces all the way down here. Ok, save to file. And before leaving this menu let me reset the default ranking to no limit. And close. Ok, I'll go to the preflop menu. And here under the drop down menu, we indeed see that our new Poker Stuff 2 ranking is available in the list. And if I select it, and use the slider, then we now indeed have a ranking where Aces is very low in the list of hands. Finally, let me just close by mentioning that all your custom ranges are stored in the file preflopranges.txt, which is in the software's main directory. And this file is in basic text format, so if you want, you can also edit it by hand.